Dire consequence of Harry's bombshell book, threatening Sussex's existence despite belated apology. When Queen Elizabeth announced on May the 19th, 2019, that she was making her grandson an occasional partner in social media crime, Prince Harry, into only the second Duke of Sussex on occasion of his wedding, no one paid that much heed to the actual title. After all, the royal family was about to get its most electrifying addition to its pale and stale ranks, ever. Now, only a measly four years after the Sussex dukedom was dusted off and put back into service for Harry, could it be about to be mothballed again. The reason why, like pretty much everything these days connected with the current duke and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, comes down to their various money-making gambits. While Meghan launched her debut commercial outing, the less than successful Spotify series Archetypes will have to wait until January the 10th for Harry's turn when his memoir, The Savagely Named Spare, will be released. How explosive could Spare be? Depends on who's talking to which paper. Everyone is bracing themselves for yet another fraught and frantic period at the mercy of the Sussexes. The same source claimed the book could spell the end for any relationship Harry wants to have with his family. It's desperately sad. It's very unlikely that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will lose access to their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, as speculation swirls around continued connections between the US-based royals and the firm ahead of the release. The removal of Prince Harry's dukedom could be King Charles III's final ace card up his sleeve, depending on the contents of the tell-all memoir that will hit the shelves next year. Charles is not going to stand back and let the family or the institution or reputation of the crown, which is everything to him, be tarnished or indeed trashed. For Tom Bauer, the memoir will only drag the royal family through the mud and bolster their damage in CBS sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey. I don't think they should be allowed to call themselves Duke and Duchess anymore, and I think the only way in which they can be undermined and reduced in importance in America is to say, well, if you think that of us, this is our family, this is Britain, then you don't need to keep your titles anymore. If they want to make their money out of trashing Britain, then why should they be recognised as the Duke and Duchess? Royal family enthusiast Niall Gardner also warned that Buckingham Palace will be very concerned by the release of Harry's book. There is a lot of nervousness surrounding it. He claimed that the memoir could do a great deal of damage and have a catastrophic impact on the couple's standing, warning that Harry and Meghan will be cast into the wilderness and lose their royal titles. If Harry goes scorched earth with spare, could he leave his father with no choice? King Charles III is apparently set to make changes to the law, preventing non-working royals being councillors of state. Under new plans, Prince Andrew, Prince Harry and Princess Beatrice would all become ineligible to stand in for the monarch, with a change up to the 1937 Regency Act outlined by the King. However, Dr Bob Morris has suggested it's unlikely that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will lose access to their titles. Harry can be deprived of his title only by an act of Parliament. At present, it seems very unlikely that Parliament itself will wish to take any initiative, and it would be for King Charles and the government in practice to determine the matter. Depending on what is said, perhaps it will be a case where behaviour that may amount only to bad taste is best ignored and not merit the attention of a statutory deprivation.